They're already there. Be yourself. It's not right? going to happen. Listen to the guy, man. Listen to the guy. Because we don't want to hear that music over and over. What's going on, everybody? It's your man Reese of the museum, and I'm sitting in here with Miss Star of Star Power Entertainment. What's going on with you? Nothing much, nothing much. Hanging in there. Hey, look, hanging in there is good. Tell, tell us what you got going on. You know, what's up with you? You, you came in, in from, came in from New York, excuse me, and and you're here now. You're from Boston, though. Right? I'm, I'm from Boston. I'm okay. from Randolph. I want to make that clear. Okay. I'm from Randolph. <laughs> you know what? I rap Boston super hard because they show me love, so I gotta right. show love back. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. And shout out to Randolph. Shout out to Randolph. Okay. Shout out to the old Massachusetts <laughs> man. But um, but yeah. So back to this. Um, I want to basically right off the bat just ask you, what is Star Power Entertainment? You know, what what is something that you want the people to know that they don't already know about Star Power Entertainment? What was the motivation, the inspiration behind Star Power? Because I see it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You know, the logo looks real official, and it's something that you it makes you intrigued to check out. You know, what what is it about for the people who don't know? For the people that don't know, Star Power is basically a place where you can go and catch the latest news on anything from sports to style to art to music and you hear an opinion about it. A lot of times you read stories and you just get the facts. Or you might read stories and someone's bashing celebrities. That's not what we do. You know what I'm saying? When you come on Star Power, you're going to get humor. You're mm -hmm. going to get smart humor. You're going to get information. It's going to be mm -hmm. informative. And so my thing is just entertaining people throughout their day. I want to entertain the 9 to fivers who are at work, bored, or on a lunch break, and they're looking down their Instagram or Twitter, and they're reading the story, and they get a good laugh out of their okay. day. That, like, that's what I want to do. And when it comes down to the music, um, I want to build a platform in Boston. I really have expanded that, and okay. I've like started to um, be open to more artists outside of Massachusetts. Right. But it's also a place for the underdogs. Every city has their top dogs. Boston, we know our top dogs, mm -hmm. the people that are always on the gram. Yep. But I kind of don't want to highlight those people all the time. Right. I want to get the people that no one knows about, like okay. the Dutchie Doobads, um, the GOs, the those people out in Lynn. Like, Lynn's got a movement that no one knows about, you know right. what I mean? Okay. So I like to try to get those people up there. So I'm like the um, voice and underdogs. You know what's crazy? You, you jumped the gun a little bit, and I was <laughs> actually gonna ask you this. You know, being that you're from Boston, mm -hmm. living in New York right now, and doing what you do, um, what is your view on, on the Boston music scene? You know, mm -hmm. what is one of the things either it lacks or what makes it unique? You know, because there's a lot of skepticism mm -hmm. with with Boston musicians, you know, and the quality. Mm -hmm. Can we bring that that sound to the industry? Like, what is your opinion about Boston music? Um, I think one thing we got going for us is, like, we're the underdogs. First of all, Boston's a sports town, mm -hmm. so you know the prize there in the city. Yes. Not only that, it's a college town, and so not every city can necessarily say that. I think... Um, a lot of people don't take advantage of the college town as much. Okay. Um, and sometimes the music might not appeal to the college crowd. Right, but right. the Boston music scene, it's kind of dicey to me. There's a lot of politics in it. I'm not going to say I like them. I've been victim to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, I, it's, it's a dicey game. And it comes down to who you know, who likes you, right. um, how you dress. Do you look good? Mm -hmm. Do you look good to them? Um, how many views you have? How many followers you have? Do right. you have a Cuban link? Who would you take a picture with? And all that's whack to me. Mm -hmm. To me, it should be based off of content. And I kind of think uh, Boston's starting to get to that point, which is a good thing. Because right. it was based off of all those other things I definitely. just said. Yep. But now people have definitely become more conscious and, and, and taking a lot more pride, I feel, mm -hmm. um, in their music now. Because they're realizing, okay, you sounding like Young Thug is not going to get you in the game. Right. Because he's already there. Exactly. See, see, my thing about that is, like, no one knows what a Boston rapper sounds like. Mm -hmm. We know when, when when someone, when you listen to YG, you're thinking, that's Cali life. Right. When you listen to Troy Ave, you're like, oh, that's what it's like in Brooklyn. Right. Like, you know what I mean? But what's it like in Boston? And that's something Boston has that no one's capitalizing on. Mm -hmm. No one's saying, no one's can listen to a Boston rapper and say, Dad, that's what it's like living in Boston. Right, you right. know, you listen to Big Sean, you hear Detroit, you listen to Dirk, you listen, to, you hear Chicago. Right. But I, I'll be honest, I can't hear one Boston rapper's music. I think Avenue does a good job yeah. of storytelling. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, this is what it's like to be in Boston. But I really can't say anyone else. And, and Grime Gert as well, um, Roxbury State of Mind. Like that's. Yeah, yeah, He yeah, gives yeah, yeah, you a yeah, yeah. real in-depth view of what it is to be from mm -hmm. Roxbury. You know, and that that brings you in. Mm -hmm. But definitely, but like like she said, everybody listen. 
Make your own sound, man. You gotta have your own sound. You can't sound like everybody else and think you're gonna get in that door because that window is very small. They're already there. Be yourself. It's not right? gonna happen. Listen <laughs> to the guy, man. Listen to the guy. Cause we don't want to hear that music over and over again. Mm -hmm. Now I would, I would usually save something like this for last, but go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Do it. What? <clears throat> How can someone? get your attention how could someone get an interview as 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 a blogger as an interviewer as a journalist how can someone get your attention because that that's hard you know it's really hard to get get someone especially someone like you you, you seem very Thank you. very direct you know you need the validation you know so how can someone get your attention Okay, someone can get my attention. It's actually really simple, and this way is basically the way people have paid attention to me. Okay. So, send an email. Um, don't misspell anything. Just don't misspell, because if you didn't take the time to reread the email, like I reread emails over and over again before I send them, oh. then I um I can't take you seriously, and you didn't take me seriously sending it. So mm -hmm. just no errors and um have things attached, so I don't have to ask you for it. And then that's basically it. If you just say, hello, star, hello, star power entertainment team, <clears throat> what have you, that's really it. And it can be two sentences. But if you did not spell anything wrong and I understood that you took the time to write this email and mm -hmm. then you have the attachments, Talk I'm going to gonna email you back. Talk to And you know what? I email everyone back, even if you spell things wrong. And I email people back to say you can't spell <laughs> things like that. I swear to God, because it's not, like, that, to if me, they that's don't know, you got to teach them. Yeah, you gotta teach and them. I might come off as an a-hole or thinking, who does she think she is? And you right. know, I am nobody right now. I am, right? But I'm going to be somebody. And I know from what? I know from my own experience that no one's ever spoken to me when I misspelled anything. Mm. And so the big dogs that you trying to reach, like I'm trying to reach, they're basically on, um, you gotta be on your P's and Q's with juice. that one. Juice, that's juice right there. Now. That was a good question. Now, look, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm trying, question. I'm trying. You got me over here sweating and I'm asking the questions. No, but um, like a little soft one, you know, I, I just wanna know like, what are the, what are some big names? You know, I know you're not really a person that, really likes to carry what you've done into now mm -hmm. but you know for the for the validation of the people you know people that that excites people you know to know who you've spoken to you know who you mm -hmm. brush shoulders with um you know just give us give us an idea of some of the people that you've had the pleasure to sit down with and put in the hot seat um beanie man he actually put me in the hot seat you should go check out that interview <laughs> beanie man uh stally mmg affiliate troy Ave, um dej loaf chinks Coke Boy, mm -hmm. Sebastian Michael, um, some locals, Avenue, Dutch Rebel, that hasn't come out yet, but that'll be coming out yes, soon. Yes, yes. So, uh, it's a variety of a bunch of people. Lil Durk, uh, um, Millie's another local, mm -hmm. um, everybody from Producers High Fidelity from Boston. So, I really, um, and I really don't have no, uh, it's from everyone, producers to artist it doesn't matter it's widespread so it's not just strict mm -hmm. strict strictly just music you know so it looks that way but it's not that's not right. where we're going it looks right. that way but um it, it's it's building of course that's, we're all in the building phases and, mm -hmm. and like let everybody know how we can you know follow up with you you know where can everybody reach miss star of star power and entertainment. I'm doing, if you want to see what I'm doing to be in my business and all that, you can go on Cause Instagram. Because we got creeps. We creeps. You know, we need to know what's up. I mean, as a, a fellow journalist yes. report interview, we do have to be creeps. You, we got to be creeps. You know everything about me on the laptop. Mm -hmm. You had everything on my laptop. He didn't think I, I seen the these bushes. questions. You know, was we was talking bushes. before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at star power ENT. So that's star with two R's. At S T A R R P O W E R E N T. And that's on everything. That's on Twitter and that's on Instagram. And I follow back. I really do. I follow back. Like, if you have cool pictures, because I don't want to look at crazy stuff down the timeline, but I follow back. <laughs> I follow back all the time. Listen, she follows back. She shows love to not only where she's from, but to true talent. Hey, star power, entertainment. This guy. Star, the museum, your boy Reese. We're working. No, we're going to do a lot more together. You'll see. You're going 2015, to see. 2015. Well, we coming, baby. We out of here. I see you over there. Looking like she want to be with me. You see her there, yeah.
I might take her on the night with me. I might take her. I might take her on the night.